So I'm sitting here. It's been about 20 minutes since I've um, since I've eaten. And what I decided to eat is my first meal of the day. It's around 12 o'clock. I chose to put a bunch of vegetables together: broccoli, be green beans, some uh, sprouts, some. Um, mushrooms and then I also had green onions and I decided to cook it with avocado <clears throat> this gives it a nice little buttery kind of texture and a flavor as well and then also with some water I would put some water time to time on, on, on top of the pan as it cooked and this is a reoccurring um, thought, a reoccurring knowing, a reoccurring revelation, as you could say. I, after I ate it, during the meal, it tasted good. It tasted really good. It almost tasted like an old, uh, with the avocado, it made it, and the water, it made it into kind of like a soup. And it tasted a lot like like a beef stew. It was weird, but the flavor of the almond or the flavor of the avocado um, made it taste something similar like that. And it tasted pretty good. Um, but afterwards, just as it digested into my stomach, or maybe not all the way into my stomach yet, but as it made its way down. I feel, I feel stuck down there. And before I, before I was eat, gonna uh, eat, well, before I decided that this is what I was gonna make, I, I have a bunch of bananas just sitting there and uh, uh, a quick thought came to me, I'll make a banana blueberry almond milk smoothie. And now, as this is this has been a reoccurring event, I, I feel like over and over again, is that my body knows what is good nutrition. My body knows when it feels nourished. My body knows when it's given food the, that allows it to energize my mood, energize my body movement energizes my mindset my body the body the temple is so smart it knows when it's given good quality food and um it keeps it over and over again you know eating cooked food it's so hard not to eat cooked food like it tastes so good and but I feel like I'm eating cooked food, and I know I, I I know there's been plenty of times where I would eat and eat and eat as if I was trying to fill up a void. And um, I can say that where I was the happiest and the most energized and the most loving in my life, I was eating a lot more smoothies and a lot more fruits and. It's just because it is winter time now here in Canada and it seems to be um, even harder to not want warm foods. And the point of this video um, that I'm making is the final acquisition, the final conclusion I'm making is that when I eat cooked foods, for one, I can keep eating it a lot, I can keep eating a lot more when I, when I cook the food, um, you know, when I would eat fruit or whatnot, I would just eat till I feel satisfied, and I know that is the way that we should be eating, that is the way I should be eating, 
that is the healthy way to eat, is eat till satisfied. Um, I know how powerful eating food can be to try to cope with things and try to um, fill in voids. And, and I don't feel like that at all when I'm eating fruit, when I'm eating high energy food. Um, because when we cook the foods, it just cooks out all the nutrients because of, because of the heat that's being, um, brought to, brought to the food. You know, it starts off as a good, good head of broccoli. You put it on the pan and you start cooking it and the nutrients that is within that, the liveness that is within that broccoli is gone. And it just, it tastes so good when you cook food. It's addicting. I feel like my conclusion is bringing me to um, a, a perception of of addiction. My, I made no sense. See, when I when I when I eat heavy foods, when I eat high cooked foods, after a while, I feel my mind is not so clear. I feel it's time that I, I, I need to eat what I've been wanting to eat deep down, what my body's been wanting me to eat, what my mind needs me to eat to feel so much better about myself. And I don't believe that things can, like substances or, or whatnot are just addicting in themselves. I feel like it has to deal with that person who's taken that substance, um, we all have, um, we all deal with substances differently. Some, some people are just, have addicting, um, behaviors and addicting, um, characteristics. And with, with, with cooked food, with food, um, that isn't bringing the life energy is is addicting because it tastes so good and it, it, it it's I don't know what it is but I think I think it needs to be time where I, I dive into just eating raw food and I know my skin uh, it's so hard for me to to just not go out and and just devour some from some cooked food, you know. So it's gonna be a challenge, but I need help. I need help. <laughs> this is no intervention right now, <laughs> um, but you know, I'm gonna. I I need some help, some ideas in order to eat more raw and eat more abundant full amount of raw foods and and still create good meals without um without cooking it and um you know it's hard because I'm not a huge fan of of you know I haven't really been eating that much um green vegetables lately I remember there was a time where I ate so many of them but now I just I don't really have any appetite for them, and um, I'm going to Hawaii soon in a few months, and um, I know I'm going to be eating primarily fruitarian there, and then when I go to Thailand as well, I'm going to be eating all the fruit in the world. But I don't want to wait till then. The, the time is now for me to take action, for me to do something that that I've realized it's only a matter of time that I that I'll do it. Um, it's kind of like I've just hit rock bottom. I've kind of just hit a plateau. I'm like, all right, this is it. I need I need to nourish myself in a different way. I need to legit nourish myself and not cook all this food up and um, have a hard time getting through it. And I can feel my stomach's uh, filling up and I can feel my hunger go away, but I'm still eating. That's not healthy at all. Um, and so, yeah. If anyone has any tips, if anyone has any um, um, thoughts, um, anything that could give me advice on, on anything, um, I'm going to be hitting up the Raw Advantage, I think. He, um, 
if you don't know who the Raw Advantage is, go on YouTube, the Raw Advantage. I was talking to him, and he gives uh, consultations um, by donate by donation, which is great. So, yeah, I just wanted to give a you know. I don't know if I felt like making a video about this because it's important. A lot of people are going through this. A lot of people have trouble um, with keeping a strong balance in their life, um, with gratitude, with 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 appreciation, with so much love for themselves while still devouring food that is not nourishing them in the long run. And Ted Carr, he talks a lot about this. He himself had a huge addiction. And I noticed that there's so many people who are going through this right now. And, and, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't be eating cooked food. This is just my own journey, my own, um, my own revelation, if you will. So um, it's gotten to 11 minutes, and I'm going to stop talking now. Everyone have an amazing day. Peace out. See ya.